Hey you guys, it's Lauren. Welcome to my channel. So today I am so, so excited because I have a favorites video today and I just love watching favorites videos. I love filming them. I just, I mean, who doesn't love talking about their favorite products? It's just so fun. So I have so many good things here. I have a ton of makeup to talk about. Two new skincare items, these two moisturizers I've been loving. I have an AM and a nighttime moisturizer that have really made a difference in my skin and they've just been my go-to for the month so I wanted to share those. And then at the end of the video, I wanted to share two fails, two makeup products that just didn't work out for me. And then I also had to share a few fashion things. This necklace I have been obsessed with, so I wanted to share that. And then I have this vintage clothing subscription that I wanted to tell you guys about. Oh my gosh, you guys, the things they sent me are just absolutely gorgeous, and I wanted to share them with you. So yeah, just lots of fun things, so we'll go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to talk about is this blush by Thrive Cosmetics. I've talked about this before, but I've really been reaching for it a ton this month. And this is the multi-dimensional strobing blush in the shade Rosy. And this is just such a gorgeous blush. It's like the perfect like cool tone pink. I feel like it can go with so many different skin tones and it's just so pretty because it has like a shift to it. It almost has a highlight built in. So when I wear this, I feel like I can skip a highlight. It's just so pretty and gorgeous. It just gives like a flush to the cheeks and I just, Oh, look at that. I love that sheen that it gives. It's just so gorgeous. I just love this. I feel like I'm really going to be reaching for this a lot, both in the fall and the winter time because of that cooler, like, pinky tone. So, yeah, just, I love this so much. I'll definitely be reaching for this a lot. Okay, next up, I want to talk about a few palettes. So, the first one, where have I been with the Lorac Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes? Their formula is just so good. I definitely have to jump on the bandwagon and get more of their palettes. But this one called Venice Beach, I have been reaching for a ton. This is another thing that I've had for a while, but I don't know, I just feel like I've rediscovered it. But it just has the prettiest shades in here. So it has four eyeshadow shades. Well, really all of these could be used as eyeshadow. And then this is a really pretty bronzer. It looks really glowy, but it actually is really nice and illuminating on the skin. Like not too much, it just adds a little bit of shimmer. And then this shade Boardwalk up here is the prettiest highlight ever. So it's just a great travel palette and the shades are super buttery, super creamy. They just have great shadows. And how cute is this palette? I love the packaging and it's called Venice Beach, one of my favorite places on earth. So I don't know, I just think these collections are really fun. They have a couple other California towns. I think they have Santa Monica and Los Angeles. And yeah, they've been out for a while. I'll definitely scoop them up. I'm sure they'll be discontinued soon. But I've seen these recently in my Kohl's and I also think Ulta still sells them. So yeah, these are just really fun palettes. I love this. And then next up, the Urban Decay Aphrodisiac palette. I've been loving this. I keep talking about this, I know, but it's just so good. Another travel friendly palette. And the shades are really neutral, but I love this rose gold in here and the purple is really pretty. Let me just show you this rose gold. I've been using this by itself. It's just so pretty, even just like as an everyday shade. But look how creamy that goes on. It's just so pretty. It's a great palette. Urban Decay shadows definitely don't get enough love. I think this is going to be a precursor to the Cherry palette, the new Naked palette that's coming up. So just a fun way to try out these shades. And yeah, I just love this so, so much. Okay, and next up is a palette that I was actually really surprised that I ended up loving it. And I'll tell you why in a second. But this is the Deck of Scarlet. This is the edition number 10. If you're not familiar with Deck of Scarlet, they're a palette subscription service. They send you out a palette every other month, and it also can come with other makeup pieces that vary. So one month it can be an eyeliner or a mascara. So it's a really fun service, and they collab with YouTubers or influencers to create these palettes. They sent me out a palette in the past, and I wasn't a fan of it. The colors just didn't work for me, but this one, it was just so absolutely gorgeous. It just spoke my name. I just was so excited. First by the packaging, I thought it was so pretty. I love that on one side, you have your lip creams and then on the other side you have six different patterns you have a blush shade down here and then a highlight and two shimmer shadows and a cream matte shadow up here and I just felt like the palette like screen fall so I was happy to try it out and I have to say this month's was really great the formula was really nice the colors were great I love the color selection so I love that with the service you can kind of pick and choose and if you're not a fan of the colors that month you can go ahead and skip it so I have this one in the past that I was not a fan of. Let me just show you. This is number seven. And the colors look really pretty. I was super excited. But this blue was so sheer. Like there's like no pigment to it. Like, I don't know. I felt like it was kind of underwhelming. And then this blush was super bright. Like way too bright for my skin tone. Like, I don't know. Just like 
way too of a bright pink for me. I feel like this palette could work for a darker skin tone. The highlight is like super like golden. A little too dark for me. So yeah, the colors in this one were just a little too out of the box for me. And I was a little disappointed with this Bora Bora shade up here. But this edition this month has been really great. Again, you can cancel any time. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. It's just like a fun service. But, but definitely pick and choose because some months are kind of crazy. The color selection is a little off. But I just felt like this month had such a pretty like fall vibe to it. And this nude shade over here, I have to show you real quick. This shade Shambles is a pretty nude that I've just been like adding to the center of my lip just to like lighten up any lip shade. I just think it's really pretty. So yeah, something that I've been loving that was kind of a surprise to me. So this was really fun. And next up I wanted to talk about this Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. So this is a brightening concealer. I used this before and I don't know, I just put it away and didn't reach for it a lot. This month I've been reaching for it a ton. Maybe it's because of my lack of sleep. I have a toddler and for some reason she's always been a great sleeper but this month she's like waking up three times a night I don't know what's going on so with the lack of sleep I need some brightening underneath my eyes and this has been like a savior I just have to show you in real time how this works because the brightening is just like insane so you just need like a little dab I, I really just go into the pot once and I feel like that's all you need and just look at that brightness it brightens your eyes up like right away like you barely have to work with it it has a pinky tone to it so it neutralizes any blueness underneath your eyes really brightening it's really emollient too so it keeps your under eyes like nice and moisturized so yeah I've just been loving this stuff you can use it alone honestly when I reach for this I usually do use it alone I feel like it's a little thick to add something on top but yeah it's just a great concealer I really don't feel like you need an additional coverage concealer on top of it I feel like it covers enough another one of my favorites I've been reaching for a ton hopefully you guys aren't sick of hearing me talk about this I feature this in my best of drugstore mascaras video and I think my most recent try this not that mascara I suggested this rock tour mascara by Catrice in replacement of the Glossier Lash Look Mascara. So I like the Glossier Lash Look Mascara in that it looks natural and it separates but it's almost too natural like I just want more length and thickening from my mascaras and this does literally everything like anything you can want in a mascara this does it separates it lengthens it thickens and you could almost like reapply this throughout the day it's the one mascara that doesn't totally clump up so the formula is really buildable and it's just a great mascara I highly recommend this I'm really surprised more people don't talk about this I think this is so good so I've been loving this and then next up is an eyeliner I've also talked about this before but another product I've been using a lot this is the Makeup Revolution Fast Flick Eyeliner, and this is a liquid felt tip eyeliner, and it has a nice, like, bendable tip, and it just allows for, like, a quick flick of the wrist, and it just makes applying winged eyeliner just so easy. It lasts a long time. I will say it does fade slightly throughout the day, but it doesn't smudge. It's just the intensity of the black isn't as pigmented throughout the day, but it still stays put, and yeah, it's just a great eyeliner. I've been loving this. Okay, and then next up, I have two lip products. This is the Marc Jacobs lipstick in Sonic Truth. I saw Jamie Page talk about this color and she was wearing it in one of her videos and as soon as I saw it, I'm like, oh my god, I need that color. It's just so me. I love these like nude pink mauve ear shades and it's just so pretty. The formula is really smooth and it's just, oh, it's just like the perfect nude pink. I just love it so much. It's an expensive lipstick, but I feel like it's it's worth it. It's like worth the splurge. Maybe save up for VIB Sephora sale time because it is, like I said, a pricey lipstick, but it's just a fun treat. It's a nice, nice thing to have and I love this color so much. And the next lipstick, it's a favorite, but I almost have like a love-hate relationship with this lipstick and it's because of the formula. So this is the Dose of Colors lipstick in creme brulee, oh, just called brulee. So this is also a nude pink, but it's more on the peachier side, and I just love the color. I'm actually wearing it today, but just so you can see a swatch, it's just so pretty. It actually is really similar to the Marc Jacobs. The Marc Jacobs is a, a little more on the mauve side, but the thing about this lipstick, it's a little drying on the lips. It smells like chlorine. It has just the strangest smell to it, and it just shows every piece of texture in my lips. But if you go light-handed with this, it is just the most gorgeous color. So like I said, I'm wearing it today and it's just, it's so pretty, it's so nice for every day, but like even as I'm applying it now, it kind of skips as you're applying it. Sometimes I'll put a lot in the center of my lips and then just kind of blot it on. But once you kind of play with it, 
and like pat down the texture of the lipstick. I just, I love the color so much. I, I can get past the formula. Really love this. Maybe they can work on their lipsticks. I haven't, I think I tried the Desi and Katie, one of their previous collections. It was like a peachy nude. And it, same thing, the formula was just really drying. So I hope, I don't know, I love their colors so much. I wish they could just work on their lipstick formula. They're just too drying for me. But yeah, I just love the shade and I love the packaging. I love like a thin long tube like this in a lipstick. So yeah, love the shade of this lipstick. Just the formula, not so much, but it hasn't stopped me from wearing it all month. So I really do love that. And then next up is a scent. I feel like this is kind of random to include because it's a tiny little sample, but I'm making a Glossier purchase and I'm definitely buying the full size of this. This is the Glossier U Perfume, and this is just such a pretty, unique, like musky smell. I feel like you either love or hate this smell. A lot of people are really turned off by, I guess, the masculinity of it. It does kind of smell like a man in a way, but in a like a light, like sexy way. I've always been a fan of unisex fragrances. I remember in high school, my like go-to was CK1. I remember back in the day that was like so popular, but this kind of reminds me of that in a way. Again, it's a little masculine, but it's still like light and fresh. I remember hearing, um, what is her name? Emily Weiss, the founder of Glossier. She was talking about this scent and she described it as smelling like your boyfriend's neck at the end of a long day as you're kissing his neck, which sounds totally crazy, but in a way, I feel like she pinpointed that. Like, it's just a subtle, like, sexy smell. It's just so, so good. Oh, it's so good. It's kind of, like, smoky in a way. I just, oh, I love it so much. It's such a nice smell. So, yeah, one of my favorites. I'm definitely buying the full size of this for sure. And then, okay, we're getting down to the wire with makeup. Let's talk about the skincare. So I have two new moisturizers that I've been using like crazy. My daytime moisturizer has been this Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 Cloud Cream. This is a gel to water hydrating essence moisturizer. Like how amazing does that sound? It's so good and it performs just how it sounds. Like it's really light and airy and it goes, it transforms into like almost like a watery essence on your face. It absorbs really quickly onto your skin and it just feels like silk on your skin. It's just such a gorgeous moisturizer. It has sodium hyaluronate in it, so it's really gonna help pull water in and help keep your skin moisturized and plump. And it's great for daytime because there's not any age-defying ingredients in this. It's not something that you need to keep on your face at night, but it's just great and lightweight for every day. It sits really well underneath makeup. It's just so good. This was available on Octoly store, but you can get it in stores. I think it's available at Ulta. It's just so good. I, I just love this. My new favorite daytime moisturizer. And then for a nighttime moisturizer, I have been loving this one by Biosense. This is their Squalene and Omega Repair Cream. This is their newest moisturizer to the line. I got this back in August and I really have seen a remarkable difference in my skin. It just makes my skin feel like velvet. I feel like it's more plump and it just looks smoother. It's just such a good moisturizer. I've been on the hunt for a Squalene moisturizer for the longest time. I feel like it's been all the rage in the skincare industry right now. I think it's getting more popular because it used to be derived from shark livers, which is crazy, but now it's plant derived, so it's natural and you can get it cruelty free, which is great. And squalene, if you're not familiar with the ingredient, it's, it's actually a natural component that we have in our skin, but it diminishes as we age. So it's important to replenish it for elasticity and moisture and just to keep your skin like plump and smooth. So just a great ingredient and I've been loving this moisturizer. It literally makes my skin feel like velvet. It's so good. If you can get past the smelliness of this product, it stinks so bad. I don't know if that's a squalene ingredient. This is the first squalene product I've tried, but it just has the most odd smell. But I can appreciate a fragrance-free moisturizer so I can get past the smell, but it's just kind of a strange smell. But Again, it makes my skin look nice and smooth, so I, I can get past the smell, but yeah, I really love this moisturizer. So good. Next up, before we get into the fails, I'm going to tell you about this clothing vintage subscription. That is just so cool and has just like stole my heart. I'm just so excited about this. But they're actually a local company based in Philly, but they ship throughout the U.S., and when they offered to send me a box, I'm like, yes, oh my gosh, first of all, I would love to support a local business. And the thought of like a thrift vintage subscription is just so cool. Like, why didn't I think of that? It's such, such a good idea. And I've always loved thrift shopping and vintage shopping, but I just can't do it anymore with a toddler. It's just, you need time to go through a vintage store and to look through all that clothing. So for someone to be able to like pick out clothing for me, tailored to my style, just sounded like such a cool idea. I was a little nervous at first because 
I like to be trendy, but not too out of the box. Like, I kind of wish I was like Carrie Bradshaw, but I'm not going to go walk around with a bird in my hair, if you know what I mean. Like, I like to push the envelope a little bit, but I'm also a mom, and I just like simple clothing. But they got it right on the money with what they sent me. And this box includes so much. Oh my gosh. So they sent me two pairs of jeans. The first pair is a skinny J. Crew jean, which obviously these aren't vintage, but they're used, so probably from like a few years ago. But yeah, J. Crew jeans are like 50 bucks, so that was amazing. And then I have these jeggings, they're kind of like stretchy. They have like a light wash to them. These are by Calva Klein, so another great brand. I love the back to these, the pockets are really small, so it's like really flattering on your butt. Love these jeans, they fit great, and then they sent me a t-shirt. This is a Juicy Couture t-shirt. It's like really nice quality and it's just really fun. It's not that like 90s Juicy Couture. It's kind of just, I don't know, it's just like a trendy t-shirt. I really like that. I think that would be really pretty with like a sweater over it in the fall. Love that. And then they sent me this halter top. This kind of like dressy, like business casual halter top in this like hot pink shade. So pretty. This is definitely my style. Love, love that. This is the brand, let me see. Oh, Rachel Roy. Wow, so another really well-known brand. So that's really cool. Feels really great quality. And then the sweater that is just so cute and I've already been wearing a ton. So it's like a duster sweater and it's like this tan khaki color and it's by, I don't see the brand, but it's a really pretty, like I said, duster sweater and it has this like lace detail on the back. And it's just like really simple, but totally my style. You could wear it with so many different things. Love that. And they also sent me a necklace, and I cannot find it for the life of me, and I'm so upset because I love it. If you want to take a peek at it, I wore it in my last video, but it's like a, a stone bar type necklace. It's just really simple and a, just a really pretty like dainty piece. So they just include so many great things. The quality is great. It's just an awesome subscription service. So definitely check them out. I'll include the link below. Their company is called We Evolve. And yeah, I really appreciate them sending me this clothing. And as long as you're detailed with what your style is, it seems like they get it right on the money with what they send out. So yeah, just a really great experience with them. And yeah, I just love that I don't have to leave my house to go thrift shopping. So that was really fun. Oh, and I want to tell you about this necklace too. This is just something I bought on my own, but I've been obsessing over this. Like I said in the beginning, I've been looking for like a dainty necklace that I can just wear with anything. Like this top I feel like is kind of busy because it has like a floral pattern to it. I love gold dainty pieces. I just love something I can wear every day and this necklace is just so flattering. I love it. But I bought it at Nordstrom and it's the Jules Smith line. I love her jewelry line. It's exactly my style. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but I was just really excited to find this piece. I think it's so pretty. It's like a triangle rhinestone necklace. So gorgeous. The price was really reasonable from Nordstrom. I want to say it was like in the $30 to $40 range. And I feel like it looks like a real gold piece of jewelry. And yeah, it's just so pretty and dainty. I just love the style. And Nordstrom, oh my gosh, their shipping is so good. They sent this to me within like a day or two. I was so impressed. I need to buy from Nordstrom more often, but I always seem to see these pieces in stores like Forever 21 and, you know, Express, and I just don't know if the quality is as good as this Jewel Smith necklace. I really feel like it's going to last. It hasn't, like, tarnished one bit, and it just looks expensive. I just love it, and I just had to share it with you guys. So, yeah, that was the last, like, clothing fashion item. Last but not least, let's talk about those fails. Not a fun subject, I know, but I just... I have to get the word out if something doesn't work for me because I would hate for you guys to spend your money on these two things. So the first one is by Pure Cosmetics. This is another item I got on my Octoly store. This foundation, so this is the Bare It All foundation. This is supposed to be a 12 hour, four in one skin perfecting foundation. And the thing about this, the coverage is insane. Like it covers everything, but I cannot get past the texture of this. Like it feels really sticky on my skin and doesn't spread easily. It feels heavy and I just could not wait to get it off at the end of the day. As a matter of fact, I think each time I wore this, I've only tried it out two times. I like, I think I had to redo my makeup. I know the one time I did, but then the other day, I know I couldn't wait to get my makeup off. But yeah, it just does not feel great on the skin. I know Pure Cosmetics has great like skin loving ingredients, 
but the texture of this is just a little off-putting for me and I just could not get past that. Again, I love the high coverage of this, but yeah, just not the most comfortable feeling foundation. So that was a fail for me. And then, okay, and the last item that was unfortunately a fail is by Smashbox. This is from the Vlada collection. This is the Petal Metal Highlighter in Gilded Rose. So I have to be honest, the packaging is definitely what got me to buy this. It looks beautiful. It's like an embossed rose. How pretty is that? So gorgeous. But the powder, it's so hard to get any pickup from it. The only way I could figure out how to apply this was by using my finger. And even when you pick it up with your finger, I feel like the swatch, it's kind of like underwhelming. You can barely see it. It's a really subtle highlight. So if you like a subtle highlight, I feel like you might like this. But I just feel like it was just too tough to pick up with a brush and just just not for me. And I think full price this was $39. I just think that is crazy for a highlight. I don't know what I was thinking. I saw that this line is going on sale at Ulta. Honestly, I don't even think for the sale price this would be worth it. There's just so many great drugstore highlighters out there. If you're a sucker for packaging and you just would love to stare at this in your vanity or in your purse, then maybe go for it. But yeah, I don't know. I just felt like the highlight was a little underwhelming. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the Vlada highlight. And that is it. That's the end of my favorites and fails. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Do you like having fails incorporated in a favorites video? I don't know. Sometimes I like to see misses and I like to hear about products that I should be avoiding. So let me know and let me know your favorites for the month. What have you been enjoying and maybe what have you been not loving so much? So yeah, I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys.